Hey, hi, Glenn here at the workshop at the garden. Saw horses are just like chainsaws and power tools. You can never have enough of them. In today's episode from Tips, Tricks, Hacks, and How-Tos from the shop, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite little pair of adjustable stowaway portable saw horses and a little trick that will make them so much better for you. Hey, let's get right into it. So there's many different manufacturers it's going to be whatever store, however you get them, whatever is the easiest to get. Ebco is a brand that's close to home, easy to get, and uh, these cost about $20 a piece. The other things you're going to need for this trick uh, is a piece of wood. Now sometimes you can just use a piece of 2x4, 2x6. Uh, I do a lot of pergola building, so I have extra 2x6 rough cedar. And I like that for a couple reasons. One, it's a little bit thicker. I'll show you in a second why that matters. And two, the fact that it's rough a little bit. I do a lot of outdoor carpentry work, woodworking, and I like that just a little bit more grab to it as I'm working on my projects. All right, let's get this thing unboxed. Fairly easy. Just a little bit of tape right there, the cardboard, recycle your cardboard. Now, they say they're ready to go just like this, and they are. You can use them straight up with metal. Um, they say be careful because they have some areas that can pinch. You do want to watch that. So as they get set up, when they pop in, they have two little uh, knobs right in there, and there's holes in the legs that uh, they slide right into, and then that action right there locks them into place. So your sawhorse is actually ready to go right now to be used. But, I like to add this wood on there because like I said, carpentry, you can see on my old ones that I've already cut it all up. They do put four little holes in here so you can easily attach a piece of wood. So I've already pre-measured a little bit here. These are about 30 inches. And I cut a 36 inch board so there's going to be uh, a little bit about three. And you just kind of line it up. You can measure this one. I measured it so it was equal side to side, but just line it up right there will work great. Construction screw. You're going to want to use a construction screw with a little structural value. These are inch and three quarters, so they won't go through and come out the top. Let's set those. Always good just to double check. Make sure everything's still lined up before you set the second one. All right. Now, you would say that we're good enough. It's going to hold there. It's going to bang. But if you're like me, uh, I'm pretty tough on things outside when they're moving around. So it'd be fairly easy for me to knock this, do that. Over time, they come a little bit loose and those screws can work their way out. This piece of wood can fall off fairly easy. Here's the little added trick that I'm sharing with you today. We're gonna add a carriage bolt, just a real simple inch carriage, one uh, quarter inch carriage bolt right down the center. That's gonna make a solid connection, sandwich those two together, and really make it impossible, not impossible, but really hard for it to come apart. These guys have been around the shop probably pushing 10 years now without a problem. All right. So to get that set, we're gonna take just a little bit and we're gonna do a little bit of a countersink drill bit in there. Not gonna go down that deep. Idea with a carriage bolt, you could pull it all the way through in the cedar if you wanted to. But when we're gonna be sawing and doing things on here, having that carriage bolt head recessed just a little bit down is gonna be a good thing. Like I said, not that deep. Next up, we're just gonna take our quarter inch regular drill, put a hole all the way down through, and we have to go through the metal on the bottom of the sawhorse. Pop through.
And last but not least, we're going to drop that quarter inch through there. Going to grab a saw. See how handy they are. Pull that in there. And I am going to use a flat washer. Not that it's going to tear through the metal, but it'll just give it a little bit more to spin on. A lock washer. So we don't have it loosening up overuse right in on the back of the pickup truck. And we're just going to take our impact, pull it in, and now she's recessed down a fair amount, so it's less of a chance to get hit by a saw in passing, or when you're setting a piece of wood on there, you don't have that ridge going in there. All right, that's it. Nice little simple uh, trick, hack, tip, how to when you're dealing with some uh, sawhorses, your temporary sawhorses. I needed two more. We've got a 20 foot um, timber coming into the shop that we're going to working, be working on. Um, that'll be a fun video to check out. I also will be doing a video on this uh, HD, this kind of heavy duty DIY uh, two by six sawhorse. You'll really want to check that one out, something you can make yourself. Anyways, thanks so much for checking it out, watching the video today. Find the subscribe button, hit the like on the video. Really appreciate you take the time to watch this. Been Glenn at the workshop at the gardens. Now go make something cool. Enjoy. Enjoy.